In the opening chapters of The Souls of Black Folk, W.E.B. Du Bois introduces the idea of the veil, a metaphor for the racial divide between black and white Americans, and double consciousness, the internal conflict experienced by black Americans who are constantly trying to reconcile their African heritage with the dominant Eurocentric culture. This psychological struggle results from viewing oneself through the lens of a society that sees blackness as inferior, while also striving for self acceptance and dignity. Dubois frames these concepts as central to understanding the African American experience after emancipation. The struggle for freedom and education. Dubois discusses the historical trajectory of black Americans. Beginning with the abolition of slavery and the promises of the Reconstruction era. He critiques the failure of Reconstruction, noting how quickly the country reverted to the systemic oppression of black people through Jim Crow laws and disenfranchisement. Education becomes a central theme, as Dubois underscores its importance in liberating African Americans from ignorance and elevating them in society. He argues that higher education, particularly for the talented tenth, is crucial for leadership and the upliftment of the black community. The limitations of Booker T. Washington's philosophy. Dubois offers a pointed critique of Booker T. Washington, the most prominent black leader of the time. Washington advocated for vocational training and economic self reliance for black Americans while downplaying the importance of political rights and higher education. Dubois argues that this philosophy, while pragmatic in the short term, was ultimately harmful because it reinforced the notion of black inferiority and accepted segregation and disenfranchisement. He emphasizes that social and political equality are essential components of true freedom and progress for African Americans. The black church is a central institution. The role of religion in the black church is explored as one of the few autonomous institutions where African Americans could find community, leadership, and spiritual solace. Dubois highlights the dual role of the black church as a place of resistance against racial oppression and a center for cultural expression. However, he also critiques the church's limitations, suggesting that at times it focused too much on the afterlife and spiritual salvation, neglecting the social and political activism required to improve the lives of black people in the present. The Tragedy of Reconstruction Dubois revisits the failures of the Reconstruction era, a critical period after the Civil War when African Americans had a brief opportunity to enjoy civil rights and political participation. However, the withdrawal of federal support and the rise of white supremacy through organizations like the Ku Klux Klan led to a swift regression. Dubois paints Reconstruction as a tragic missed opportunity that, if handled differently, Could have changed the trajectory of racial relations in the U.S. He expresses deep frustration with the North's indifference and the South's violent resistance to black progress. The economic oppression of black labor. Another key theme is the economic exploitation of black labor, especially in the South. Dubois discusses the legacy of sharecropping, a system that essentially replaced slavery by trapping black farmers in cycles of debt and poverty. This system perpetuated economic dependency and kept black people from advancing socially and economically. Dubois points out that without economic independence, political and social freedoms are hollow promises. He calls for land reform, fair wages, and economic opportunities as necessary steps toward genuine equality. The psychological toll of racism. Dubois delves into the deep psychological impact of systemic racism on African Americans. He describes the sorrow and anger felt by black people, particularly those who are acutely aware of their marginalized status within society. This constant awareness of being judged by the color of their skin, rather than their abilities or character, weighs heavily on black Americans and contributes to a sense of alienation. Dubois articulates the emotional burden of living within the veil, where black Americans can see and understand the world of white America, but are barred from full participation. The importance of art and culture. 
Dubois emphasizes the significance of African American culture and artistic expression as essential to the development of a distinctive black identity. He highlights spirituals, songs of sorrow, and the oral tradition as profound expressions of black life, suffering, and hope. Dubois advocates for the recognition of black contributions to American culture and insists that art and culture are powerful tools for challenging stereotypes and asserting the humanity of African Americans. Case Studies of Racial Inequality Throughout the Souls of Black Folk, Dubois uses personal anecdotes and case studies to illustrate the broader issues of racial inequality. He shares the story of his own child's death as an example of the unequal health care and social services available to black families. He also recounts the lives of African Americans who have struggled under the weight of poverty, lack of opportunity, and systemic discrimination. These personal narratives bring the abstract concepts of inequality into stark relief, making the human cost of racism clear and undeniable. Hope in the Future in the final chapters, Dubois strikes a hopeful tone, suggesting that despite the overwhelming challenges, African Americans have an enduring spirit and will continue to fight for their rightful place in society. He believes in the potential for change through education, political activism, and cultural pride. While the souls of black folk is a somber reflection on the failures of American society to live up to its democratic ideals, Dubois also calls for an ongoing struggle toward justice, equality, and the recognition of the full humanity of black Americans. Dubois's work stands as both a sociological analysis and a passionate call for civil rights, blending personal reflection with academic rigor. It remains a foundational text in understanding the complexities of race in America and the enduring quest for freedom.